students now let us learn prime factorization by division method now first let us understand what is prime factorization when any natural number is expressed as the product of its prime factors then the factorization is called as prime factorization or it is also called as complete factorization it means we are finding out its prime factors first so let us uh, solve this okay see it very carefully now this is our number that is 72 first example let us uh, find out the prime factors okay so first smallest prime factor is 2 let us divide this number by 2 it is exactly divisible by 2 because the unit digit is 2 so 2 3 is 6 2 6 are 12 again now we have got 36 you will write the quotient here and the divisor here divisor will always be your prime number okay only then it will be a prime factor here you have written the quotient now again divide this by another prime number what that will be smallest prime number is 2 and it is exactly divisible by 2 because unit digit is 6 so 2 1 is 2 2 8s are 16 Again, you have written the quotient. When 36 is divided by 2, you will get 18 as the quotient. Now, again, divide this. It can be uh, exactly divisible by 2. Now, 2 9s are 18. Okay. Now, again, we have got 9 here. Now, 9 is not exactly divisible by 2, but the next prime number is 3. So, 9 is exactly divisible by 3. How many times? 3. 3's are 9. Now 3 again is a prime number. Now when you will reach the quotient as the prime number, there you are going to stop. Now you have got all the prime factors. So we can write 72 as, okay, the prime factorization of 72 as, now express this in the form of product of its prime factor. So 72 can be written as, you will write the answer as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. Like this you are going to write. Let us take one more example 172. Now start dividing it by the prime factors. 172. Smallest prime number is 2. It is exactly divisible by 2. 2 8s are 16, 2 6 are 12. Now again divide 86 by 2, it is exactly divisible by 2. 2 4s are 8, 2 3s are 6. You are writing the quotient here and divisor this side. And divisor is always a prime number here when we are doing the prime factorization by division method. Now 43. Now you can't divide this by 2. 3 is all, this is also not exactly divisible by 3 because 4 plus 7, uh, 4 plus 3 is 7. That is not exactly divisible by 3. Like this you can find out that 43 is a prime number. So we are going to stop here. So 172 can be written as product of its prime factor 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 43. This is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 43. As you reach the prime number, you will stop the division there only. So like this, prime factorization by division method you have to